Hi, good afternoon. My name is Daniel Hull, and I'm here with Team 3 alongside Hunter Andrew and Charles Arnold, here to discuss for you the Bellhop, a revolutionary new product in bike security systems. And let's get to press talks. For our outline, uh, we're going to be going and discussing our problem statement, the team's mission statement, the, our design time frame, the, um, our process that we went for identifying customer and customer needs, um, concept ideation and opportunity identification, product specifications, as well as total revenue and our break-even analysis for our product. But let's talk about examples. If you've ever been to Virginia Tech's NCB building during student hours, you've probably noticed that the entire building is lined with bikes. And that's no fluke. In the United States colleges, alternative forms of transportation outside of cars and buses is incredibly pivotal for most people to be able to get around. After all, cars are expensive and buses have a and buses are unreliable at times. So a lot of people will go and use them and bike around campus. However, two million bikes are stolen every single year in North America. That's two, and that amounts to an average of two billion dollars worth of equipment every year that's just completely lost and stolen. Now you can and now most people don't do go and invest in a bike lock to be able to secure their bike when they're not using it. However, if it was a perfect system, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now. People can very easily break into a bike lock and a lot of other um, preventative measures for, stomach, for stopping someone from breaking and stealing your bike. So our mission statement was to create a physical product in the bike security category that we can design and launch to the market within eight weeks in agreement with all the design constraints imposed by this product, project specifically. So for this project, we went and developed a project Gantt chart. Uh, the project is intended for completion within eight weeks from 1016 to 1211. As of our first design review, this DP1 Crumman task, tasks one and two have already been completed, that being identification of customer needs, as well as the establishment of target specifications. We do have other tasks that we are going and still researching and catching up on, including uh, intellectual properties literature searching, as well as our concept generation to be able to help better refine our project, our product for the future. But for the most part, we are making good time on uh, what we have so far. Now, for identifying our customer, we knew that we wanted to go and um, design our product based off of real information from real college students. So we went and did, um, we went and compiled survey results that we took from real students across the Virginia Tech Blacksburg campus. Um, and we used that to be able to develop a use case to determine how a customer might use our product. So to throw out a hypothetical, we have, for our most basic situation, um, our customer is going and riding their bike over to class and they go and lock up their bike. However, uh, an unscrupulous individual goes and sees their bike after the owner walks away. They've already secured their bike. But here's the important thing. They've secured their bike with the bellhop security system. So they see that there is a, secur a securing system that's on the bike, and they're not going to go and steal it. After all, the first step of preventative measures is just something existing, regardless of the quality of that, um, of that preventative measure in the first place. But we're not just going to stop there. Our alternative flow one describes that, well, now this person um, sees that there's a lock, but he's trying to go and steal it. The, um, the Bellhop security system uses a motion sensor to be able to go and stop a potential thief from stealing the bike, and then they run off. They've, suc and they've successfully protected their bike. In the alternative flow two, even if they are not deterred by the volume and the sound of, um, of the alarm sounding, someone else nearby goes and notices that, um, that hey, that doesn't sound right, that sounds like an alarm going off, and they confront the person stealing the bike. Automatically, you've already prevented, I mean, you've prevented another theft. With both the, um, within all these situations though, we found that the bellhop would be able to be, would prove useful in addition to existing security measures, or even by itself. And with that further ado, we also used our survey results to be able to compile what we feel like would be our perfected ideal customer. This product is aimed at customers who we feel like are going to be living a more active lifestyle. The kind of people who you know are going to like use a bike on a regular basis. They are, but more than that, they're concerned with, with owning a quality product. They're not just going to go and buy the first bike lock they find at Walmart for 10 bucks. This is the kind of person who wants to make sure that their $100 bike 
is not going to get um, is not going to be defeated by a five dollar block. Now, out of this information, we we felt like again an act, outdoor and active lifestyle is important as well as good value, but we also went and developed a lot of additional customer information for our idealized customer, generally based off of our own personal understanding of college camp um, of the college campus itself, as well as our own biases as engineering students, we able to help develop the kind of person that would benefit the most from our product. Now, for our target specifications, um, we went and developed a QFD diagram. It was made and correlates determined physical dimensions, weight, and alarm volume as the most important qualities of our alarm system. So, um, suggestions that we found that we found and took into consideration, which was taken actually again from our customer survey, was that the alarm shouldn't just go and sound when it's armed. It should also go and sound when it's being tampered with. After all, a lock is only um, as good as how sturdy it is. So this we feel like is going to benefit our product as a whole and help to go and create a more secure overall system. As well as that, we found that the alarm volume was determined to be strongly correlated with the effectiveness of the device um, itself. After all, if it just made a, a light beep, no one's going to go and pay any attention to that. But with a at a range of about 100, 110 decibels as, um, as an ideal alarm volume, that, prevent, um, that would most um, that would have the highest effect to be able to go and deter people from using our bike or from stealing our bike. In addition, we also went and developed an economic analysis. Um, we went and created two models for um, our um, for the economics specifically, one of which being a linear and the other one being a parabolic profit model. Um, we found that the parabolic model was just overall better indicative of um, like the day that we found, which we found, which we can find here. The scenario two model, the parabolic model, was best suited for calculating profit from total revenue and total cost. And we also found that having an oversupply would go and decrease the, pro um, the profit of the project overall. But with that in mind, we were able to go and come up with the a maximum profit value of seven thousand five hundred and seventy-eight um, dollars with ninety-four units sold, um, while still having break-even points at 3,355 units sold, which we obviously feel is a very good metric for success for a product, considering this is the first, this is the prototype of the product so far. And the first version is, um, may have some kinks we still need to work out, but this gives us enough uh, profit that we can use towards redeveloping and improving our system as a whole. Overall, we feel the Bellhop is going to be the next thing that's going to go and revolutionize um, bike security, not just in not just in a college situation, but in urban areas, rural areas, anywhere where you use a bike, we feel like our product can, be, um, can help to improve the quality of your lives. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.